So hello everyone, a very warm greeting to one and all. I'm Shri Gauri and I would like to welcome you all to the IIT Jodhpur open house session of postgraduate diploma program on next generation omics technologies and applications. So we have organized this session for participants to learn more about the program structure, curriculum, training outcomes, and the registration process. So in the first part of the session, I'll walk you through the program details. And then at the end, we'll have an open Q&A session where you can post your queries and uh, get answers from the team behind the program. So without further delay, let's get started. So what is the postgraduate diploma program on next generation sequencing all about? So this is a 12 month online program aimed at students, researchers, faculties, as well as professionals to equip them with skills and knowledge necessary to design, execute, and analyze multi-omics experiment. So this program covers a wide range of topics, including next generation sequencing techniques, multi-omics technologies, computational methods, machine learning algorithms, and statistical approaches. Now this training is further divided into three flexible options. That is, first is the basic certificate program on next generation omics technologies and application, which is a six month program. Then we have the advanced certificate program, which will also be for six months. And finally, a combined postgraduate diploma program, which will be for a period of 12 months. Now, who is the program for? So this program caters to a diverse range of audience, ranging from working professionals in industries like pharmaceuticals, sports, nutrition, and diagnostic, to researchers in academia and industry. This program will also be suitable for students pursuing degrees such as PhD, B.Tech, or masters in fields like bioscience, bioengineering, or related disciplines. And regarding the eligibility criteria, uh, the applicants must have a bachelor's degree in engineering or science or medicine, or a master's degree in bioengineering or bioscience with a minimum of 60% in their UG or PG. Now coming to who is the team behind the program. This innovative training program is conducted in collaboration with faculties and researchers from academia and industry, including the esteemed Indian Institute of Technology, Jodhpur, which aspired to provide state-of-the-art domain knowledge and training to understand biological system. Program is also conducted in collaboration with leading sequencing company, Premas Life Sciences, who aim to foster the spirit of science and to create a space where technology can be used to answer important problems in scientific research. During the course of the program, Omics Logic will also aim to equip the next generation of students and scientists with the skills they need to excel in the rapidly evolving landscape of bioinformatics. Now, during the postgraduate diploma program, we host live interactive sessions with students over the weekend, as well as featuring a diverse range of instructors from academia and industry including experts from IIT Jodhpur, Shoga University, MI Microbiome Therapeutics, and leading frequencing companies like Premas Life Sciences and industry leaders in bioinformatics such as OMSAR. So why is there such a huge demand for next generation OMICS technologies? Now here you will see, according to a report by Research and Market, the global next generation sequencing mar market is anticipated to experience a growth of 18.16% from 2024 to 2030. It's widespread adoption in clinical diagnostics and pivotal role in guiding personalized treatment are propelling the global market growth. And here we can also see the regional outlook as well as the application outlook. So the popular demand for the skill set is in North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, Latin America, Middle East and Africa. And application-wise, the popular skill sets that are required are genomics, molecular phylogenetics, metabolomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, as well as other omics field. 
So a lot of these topics are being taught in the program as well. Now you might be wondering what are some of the modules that you get a chance to learn during the program. So there are two parts. There are compulsory modules and there are elective modules. So from teaching you how to design a multi-omics experiments, introducing you to various omics technologies, to machine learning applications, the program is packed with some of the popular in-demand skills in the job market. So to learn more about this, we have created a booklet about the compulsory modules and elective modules. So we'll share the link to that in the chat box so that the participants can refer to it and learn more about the curriculum. So for someone who has enrolled in the program, what are some of the outcomes that you can expect? So at the end of the program, you will have an in-depth knowledge of high-throughput multi-omic technologies, perform next-generation sequencing experiments, and interpret their applications, master computational tools and statistical concepts to draw meaningful insights from biological data, develop effective skills for project planning and management in omics and data science. As class, there will be a campus immersion and an opportunity to carry out mini research projects with the IITJ faculties. And at the end, you will also be able to know how to use state-of-the-art computational tools, machine learning algorithms, and statistical approaches. Now, here is what a student journey looks like for someone who is enrolling in the program. So this begins by student submitting their application for enrolling in the program. Once reviewed and selected, they will receive an offer letter. Now here, the students will progress to the certificate one of the program. At the end of the program, if they're interested, they can opt to exit with a certificate one on next generation omics technologies and application. Or, and there are also options for students uh, direct entry at certificate two. That is, it follows a form, uh, it requires that the participants do have a prior training in the topics that are being covered in certificate one. So to learn more about it, we recommend that you go through the brochure that we have shared in the chat box. And at the end, you will be completing the certificate two and get a PG diploma in uh, NGS omics technologies and applications. And at the end, you will be also getting placement support for opportunities in the field. Now you might be wondering what are some of the job roles that you get a chance to explore at the end of the program. The job roles range a lot from academia to industry. And here in the slide, we have displayed some of the roles that you can look into. So in terms of opportunities, there are two parts, wet lab as well as computational aspect. So if you're someone interested to uh, advance in the field of wet lab opportunities. You can look into some of the roles such as PI, postdoctoral researcher, research assistant, laboratory technician. And if you're someone who's interested in the industry aspect of it, there are roles such as application scientists, quality control specialists, research scientists, clinical lab scientists, and so on. And if you're someone who is interested in going to the computation aspect of the field in the academia, then there are roles such as bioinformatics scientists, data scientists, biostatisticians, computation biologists, and so on. And in industry, there are roles such as bioinformatics engineer, bioinformatics programmer, healthcare data analyst, product manager, and so on. Now here's a quick display of the potential recruiters that we are currently in touch with. The skills and knowledge acquired through the program will help you to navigate and contribute to a dynamic landscape as displayed on the screen here, from opportunities ranging from in job sectors such as pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies, research institutions and laboratories, healthcare organizations and hospitals, data analytics and bioinformatic companies, as well as uh, genomic diagnostic laboratories. Now, throughout the course of our training, learners have responded positively to a program. So this is the data from the first batch. So the program goes beyond theoretical explanations and involving practical assignments that contribute to the development of a well-developed scientific researcher. For instance, students have found value in analyzing research papers 
and presenting their finding during the live sessions that are held during the weekend. Now coming to the campus immersion opportunity that I was talking about earlier. So students will have an opportunity uh, to engage in a campus immersion at IIT Jodhpur where there will be, this will be an essential component of the PG diploma program and certificate two program. So here learners will get hands-on lab experience with opportunity to meet and learn in person from the faculty and mentors at IIT Jodhpur, as well as engage in a mini project. So participants who complete the mini project will be co-supervised by the IITJ faculty, as well as the industry partners. And here's a quick uh, summary table of the various options that I was just discussing about earlier. So the, the differences are based on the duration credits, mode, live sessions, and the program fees. So for the certificate one, it will be for a period of six months. Certificate two will also be for a period of six months. And the PG diploma program, which is a combined program of certificate one and certificate two, it will be for a period of 12 months. So the number of credits that you earn at the end of certificate one is 13. At the end of certificate two, you will get 15 credits. And at the end of PG diploma, PG Diploma Program, you will get 28 credits. Now coming to the mode of each of the programs. Certificate 1 will be held purely online. Certificate 2 and PG Diploma Program will involve online as well as campus immersion at IIT Jodhpur. And coming to the program fees, the Certificate 1 is uh, rupees 1.2 lakhs. Certificate 2 is rupees 1.5 lakhs. And the PG Diploma Program is rupees 2.5. Five lakhs. Now, for those of you who are interested in enrolling, you might be wondering, so how to proceed with uh, the steps? So the very first step is that you need to submit your application and uh, you will be required to pay a fee of rupees 300 during the registration process and an eligibility form will be shared with you where you're required to upload few documents uh, consisting of your mark sheets, and uh, so on for the verification process. And if you're selected and are deemed eligible to enroll in the program, you will receive an offer letter with program details such as the start date, program schedule, and other instructions. And the next step is for you to complete the program fee payment. So there are multiple options that you can reach out to our team and we can also discuss during at the end of the sessions for participants who might be interested to learn more about the program fee structure. And at the end, you, there will be a orientation session that will be held for all the participants who are enrolled to help you learn more about the uh, process behind when the classes will be scheduled and how the classes will be. So that was all that I wanted to cover during the, this part to introduce you to the program. So now the floor is open to queries uh, from the participants. Today, we are joined by some of the mentors from the program as well. So if you have any queries, you can post them in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask. If the participants have uh, is taking time, then we can pass on the stage to uh, Ms. Shubhangna Sharma, who will walk you through some of the questions that participants usually encounter while enrolling in the program. So over to you, Shibana. Okay, thank you, Shrigori. So hello, everyone. Welcome to our open house of PG Diploma session. So before I begin, I want to let you know that this session is designed to be interactive. So feel free to type your queries in the chat box, or you can simply unmute yourself. So for addressing some of your queries, I'll share my screen. So these are some of the questions that participants generally encounter or have their queries about. So first of all, what is the duration of the program, this PG diploma program? So the duration of this whole program will be for one year. And the next question that we generally hear from students is, what is the mode of the program? So the program will remain virtual with an on-site campus immersion period for 10 to 15 days at IIT Jodhpur campus during certificate two program. 
And the next question that we encounter most is, is there any project that is associated with the course? So yes, there will be a mini project in the course that you can complete with either IIT Jodhpur or with our industry partners. So next we have is that the question that we generally get from students are, what are the credits that is required for this PG diploma? So for certificate one, there will be 13 credits. For certificate two, there will be 15. And for complete the PG diploma program, there will be 28 credits in total. And then we have the course list that we are offered during the PG diploma program. So in the certificate one, we will be offering students designs of omics experiments, next generation omics technologies, basics of omics data analysis and omics databases. And there is a list of some elective courses as well. What I'll do is I'll share the link in chat box so you can review all these things and get a detailed overview. So now I'll, all right, everyone, now it's time to open the floor for your questions. So you all can proceed ahead with your questions and we will stay on the call and address your queries. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Shubhana. So meanwhile, we are waiting for the rest of the participants to uh, post their queries. I'll read out a few of the queries that are posted in the chat box, since there are some of the commonly asked uh, questions. So Jayashree is asking, is prior knowledge to R and Python a prerequisite? So the mentor has already re replied to it, but no, we will be taking you through these uh, topics during the program. So it is not a prerequisite that uh, you need to have the knowledge. And uh, second question is uh, by Preeti, is there any possibility for online courses like this in future? So this is a program that is offered every year. So the participants Art. can- Hello, hello ma'am. Yes, Rima, go ahead. Uh, are there any uh, opportunity, uh, scholarship opportunities are available? Uh, hello. So Preeti? Yeah, go ahead, uh, Shubhangla. Uh, so, Preeti, for now, we are offering this program. You can What you can do is you can pay for the certificate one first, and then you can proceed ahead with the certificate two. Or what you can do is you can contact your nearby bank based on the offer letter that will be provided to you from IIT Jodhpur Zen, and you can apply for an education loan. And for more information, you can contact us we will drop our contact in the chat box itself and we can explain you everything in detail. Okay, Rima, does that answer your query or do you wish to? Yeah, I got my answer. Okay, perfect. So we have a few more queries in the chat box. Uh, so uh, Susri is asking, does the entire fee have to be paid in the beginning at once? Yeah, so about that, um, as uh, Shubhangna was saying, that uh, one can pay the fee for certificate one first, and then after six months, uh, fee for the certificate two is also there. But uh, we are uh, trying to connect you with uh, banks and other uh, options where you can have an option for installments. Uh, so you have to reach out to our team for that and uh, we'll guide you to whatever the opportunity and possibilities are. And um, to be uh, clear about that, uh, all of this are provided by uh, like uh, reaching out to banks. So we, our team will be helping and assisting we, with you uh, for that. But uh, this is a process that has been uh, that has to be taken care of by banks and other uh, uh, companies. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mohit. Next question is from Rashi. Is there any entrance test for admission in the program? Uh, no, there is no entrance test for the admission in the program, but uh, we will be requiring uh, so there was some eligibility criteria that you have to fulfill. I think that is uh, what Shrigori has also shown. And it's also available on the brochure. And if you are uh, eligible, then uh, we will be able to offer you the program. 
uh, to join. All right, sir. And the next question we have is uh, from Preeti. Uh, she would like to know if we can do it online as well, the campus immersion part. Yeah, only the campus immersion part is where we believe that uh, you would be benefiting the most uh, with uh, the live interaction and networking. So it's a compulsory event uh, which helps you connect and learn also wet lab experiments. So this is a very unique program like none other where you have the opportunity to do all of this uh, online learning wet lab and dry lab techniques as well as practicing those uh, wet lab techniques during the campus immersion, also doing a mini project and examinations are usually held after that. So it's a immersive experience and I think it's a must have for uh, to be able to get the IIT alumni status because you will, after the completion of the program, will be an alumni of IIT Jodhpur. So having, being a part in the, and having there in the campus is uh, quite important and that's why it's compulsory. So it's just 10, for, 10 to 15 days and for this program, it will be in the summer of 2025. So there's a lot of time for this to be planned if, uh, if that is all right for some of the participants who are willing to join. Thank you, sir. The next question we have is, what about time of daily lecture and schedule? So perhaps one of the mentors can uh, address the query of what it looks like when a student enrolls and how the classes are held during the weekend. All right, I'll take this question. So the classes are held on Saturday and Sunday because we understand that this course is for working professionals. So you have your office work from uh, Monday to Friday or your uh, research lab work if you are a researcher in the lab. So the classes will be on Saturday and Sunday. The classes usually start around 8.39 and uh, they are till 6 in the evening. You have breaks as well in between. It's not that the classes are in continuity. So you have 15, 20 minutes break and for lunch you will be given an hour or two break. And uh, that's the way we go through these classes. And uh, there's a like you'll be having the theoretical classes in the morning and you'll have a practical session as well of two hours because you also have the uh, data analysis part the basics omics and data analysis and advanced omics data analysis so you will be having practical sessions of around two hours on every saturday and uh, followed by a theoretical class again so that is the way we be having classes we not overwhelm you so we have the breaks in between. I hope that answers your question. Thank you so much, Sanalka. So the next question we have is about the placement ratio or the placement stats. Yeah, so I can take that question. So the way we are working with uh, for the placement is that uh, we are connecting with the companies who are hiring in this space. And then we have a system where we collect uh, all the information and help you um, develop that curriculum, uh, the CV um, and the resume in a way and as also your cover letter in a way that it uh, becomes relevant. And so we are connected with the human resource uh, departments uh, and we are trying to uh, help the participants connect with the right kind of an opportunity and this is an ongoing process and this is the second semester which is ongoing currently so we don't have the stats right now because uh, the program will be over by the Ju uh, by june and then uh, the placement stats will come out thank you so much sir so the next question is a follow-up for jayashree's question the R or Python languages training will commence with certification course one or two. Yeah, I can take that all as well. So the curriculum is actually divided into two parts and which makes complete sense. The first semester is about getting you comfortable and knowing all the basics. So basics of R and Python will be covered in certificate one. And then the machine learning part, the data science part and the model building part uh, will be covered in the second semester where we go into more advanced topics like deep learning and all. Thank you so much, sir. So if the participants have any further queries, you can either unmute yourself and ask 
or you can post them in the chat box. We'll wait for a few more minutes. Hi, um, I have a question. Yes, Susie, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So I'm speaking from um, Georgetown University in US. So I was wondering how feasible this program is going to be for international participants. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I think um, the program is available for international participants. Uh, one of the reason is that uh, because it's completely online and everything is also available, we tend to make sure that all the resources, lectures, recordings are made available for the participants to be able to go through based on their convenience because most uh, this program has been designed keeping in mind uh, about the working professionals who have limited time also uh, students who are doing master's program and other programs along with this so um, that way it is uh, going to be like that but yeah i mean there is one uh, campus immersion, I think that is compulsory yeah. in certificate two, where you have okay. to plan to travel uh, yeah. Yeah. Jodhpur, uh, Rajasthan, which is a beautiful place. Yeah, <laughs> I believe. Thank you so much for that. Um, I was just wondering if there will be any possibility in the future where the campus immersion can be, you know, like made optional in the future. Or so we used to have Pankaj here from IIT Jodhpur. So I'll uh, maybe ask Pankaj to take this question. Pankaj, over to you. Yeah, hi. Thanks, Mohit. Uh, yeah, so uh, actually the campus immersion is uh, an important part because it uh, it's not uh, benefit for... Uh, it, it is actually in the benefit of the candidates uh, to visit the campus. And just to add one more thing, uh, uh, we also plan to do campus immersions uh, at our uh, two sites. One is in Bangalore or in, uh, and another one is in Gurugram. So uh, in future, we also plan to conduct immersion uh, in those sites, apart from IIT Jodhpur. So uh, at the moment, this is uh, mandatory and uh, it is in the benefit of the students that they visit, they interact, they, uh, they learn more, they get more on hands on experience. And it's not a long uh, duration, it's maximum of around 10 days. So um, you can you, you, you can plan ahead uh, that time, uh, we will let you know when exactly that immersion period is going to happen at the even at the beginning of the semester itself. So you can uh, definitely uh, plan easily and uh, you, you will be definitely going to get benefited from this. Thank you so much. Um, what right now is the tentative uh, timeline for the campus immersion? Like when do you anticipate which month? Uh, sorry, I couldn't get it. Uh, are, is there any further follow-up question? I'm so from sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was, I'm walking to work, so probably the background noise. Um, I meant to ask um, what would be the tentative timeline, like which month of the year, like as in summer, but when? Um, so uh, the immersion is compulsory for uh, Certificate 2, uh, which usually... Uh, gets uh, over in um, month of um, April, around March, April, and yeah. So um, that, in that time, uh, in around April month, you might have to travel. Thank you so much for that. I just had one last question um, regarding the mini project that was mentioned. So can we do the mini project at the institution that we're working in? Uh, yeah, that's really good question. So you can, uh, I can answer this as well. So you can uh, do the mini project at uh, any any place in the world, but um, when uh, instructor uh, or faculty member from IIT Jodhpur has to be uh, involved in as in a kind of uh, co-supervisor so that uh, faculty uh, understands what you are doing and uh, he or she is going to finally evaluate your project. So uh, 
this is important that you are in touch with at least one faculty member from at IIT Jodhpur. Okay. Thank you so much. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We have another query by Rashi. How many students are taken per class? Uh, well, uh, it's uh, per class. I mean, per the for the program, we have limited number of seats, uh, which is uh, 40. So I think uh, if that is the question, but there are uh, compulsory and elective courses. So it varies from class to class, but depend on the uh, number of electives and also the number of uh, the students who have opted for certain elective courses. So I think uh, that is uh, what it is. Thank you, sir. And then we have one query from Rima about the allowances. Any TA or DA will provide it during the immersion program. Uh, Pankaj, can you take this question? So it is, I think. I don't uh, think we have anything like yeah, that. Yeah, right? so uh, the travel charges uh, has to be covered by the candidates because uh, some candidates might be traveling from abroad. So uh, yeah, they have to, the, all the charges for the traveling, they have to bear by the candidates. Uh, and also just to add, uh, uh, there will be nominal charges for uh, accommodation, uh, like the nominal student charges for 10 days that you're going to um, stay here in the campus or our two different sites that I mentioned, Bangalore or Gurugram. Uh, I'd like to request the participants to uh, mute yourself in case uh, all right, I can see Preeti, you have unmuted yourself. Go ahead. Uh, yes, I think that's a great, great course uh, planned. Uh, actually, I would like to know that, the, as you said, the, the classes will be on Saturday and Sunday. Is there any possibility that the lectures are uh, recorded and if we miss one day or one week, then we can pursue as per our convenient time? Uh, is it, as I'm also from France, so it won't be the time uh, uh, from uh, the Indian timings uh, actually not very well suit me, but I'm really interested in this program. Uh, yes, I just uh, said that uh, earlier as well. Yes, I think uh, there is a personal personalized uh, manner in which this program is being done. So you will be connected with all the mentors and we have a lot of uh, amazing mentors in the program and uh, you can uh, connect with them personally uh, through the Google uh, through the Google program that we have and we have the uh, platforms where all of this data will be available to you. So we make sure that uh, you can follow the classes even if you have missed a few of them and uh, we will be sharing them regularly with you. We are going to be connected with you throughout the program there is an entire support team uh, from omics logic uh, that you can always reach out to with any of your queries so i think uh, as it is a postgraduate diploma program uh, it has uh, all those benefits uh, from uh, iit jodhpur side as well uh, it covers that and takes a takes that kind of a quality in terms of uh, teaching and uh, the resources that we have Thank you so much. I got Thank my you. answer. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Do we have any further queries from the participants? Okay, I don't think there are more queries, uh, Shri Gauri. So anyways, uh, you can always reach out to us for if you uh, encounter any questions. If you have any questions regarding wet lab experiments and all, we also have Dr. Rahul Ramakar from Prema's Life Sciences here. And uh, you can ask your questions with him as well. Hi, Rahul. Hello, Mohit. Hi. Hi. 
Yeah. So a any questions regarding the wet lab work or uh, what kind of uh, experiments we are going to do in campus immersions or what kind of elective courses we are taking? If you have any questions, please do ask. I'm here to address them. All right, I think uh, there are no further questions. Uh, so I think we're good to uh, complete this session and uh, meet those who are joining the program uh, throughout the upcoming summer and fall and then complete uh, the training together. So it'll be an exciting journey. Looking forward to all of you joining the program and make the most because uh, this is a cutting edge and uh, a field that has been really evolving and there are a lot of opportunities and it requires a lot of manpower and uh, quality analytics as well as people with a deeper understanding of the science behind all of this. So I regularly post about these type of job opportunities. Even if you're not a part of this program, you can check out those opportunities in our LinkedIn page. So uh, do feel uh, 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 right to us and connect with us on LinkedIn and ask your queries if you have any. Thank you again. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Yeah.